Hello, my name is Bryce Hebenthal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's quick tips video, we will discuss what's new with the move face command in SOLIDWORKS 2015. So this is one of our direct editing tools, the move face command. And now we have the option to do on-screen numeric input of dimensions. We also get to specify a couple different end conditions for when we use the command. And then we also have the ability to move multiple bodies when we use that move face command. So we'll go ahead and start by launching SOLIDWORKS and move face is one of our direct editing tools on the direct editing tab. I'll go ahead and start by just selecting these faces. And I'll go ahead and manipulate those faces with this triad and you'll see once I let go, I could input a value for the length of the move face command. Or we can use one of our other end conditions such as up to surface and I, all I have to do is select a from and to and we'll move those that face right up to that plane we selected. Or we can use an offset from surface and specify how far offset I want to be from that plane. Let's see, we'll get something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Looks good. The green check mark. Another option is to use a different end condition for our move face. So I'll go ahead and select this face and use the up to body end condition. And we'll select the body and you'll see it comes right up to that body making a great change in a matter of seconds. Finally, we can now use the move face on multiple bodies. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these bodies. And you'll see I'm able to make a dramatic change to this de grill design in a couple of seconds. I'll go ahead and find a value that I like right about there. And you see I just shortened up our grill with one command. Thank you for watching this what's new video from Go Engineer on move face command. Until next time have a great day.